Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm going to bring you episode 2 of my FIFA 13 Road to Glory. I apologize for not uploading yesterday. Hopefully, if at all possible, I will be uploading a second episode of this later on today. Again, if at all possible. But we get straight into it here. In the first match, up against Madman's with a pretty poor team, to be honest. He's got some good players in there, but his chemistry is only 35, and this was expected to be a walk in the park from my point of view. And I do manage to score a couple of goals within the first 30 minutes. The first and third of which were both from Muriel or Mir Muriel or however you may pronounce his name. And he's definitely the star of this team in my opinion. It is why I did a video on him a few days ago telling you all how underrated he was in my opinion and that's because he is pacey, he's got good finishing, he seems to win quite a lot of headers it might be because of his momentum he gets while he's running into the box and generally he's an all-around very good striker even in a 4-5-1 where you might not expect his type of player to really function that well but we do manage to pick up a couple of more goals and then Emmanuelson goes on a really nice run and finishes it off with a nice power shot to the far corner and he's another guy I think who's pretty underrated he is non-rare, so I wouldn't really have expected him to be that expensive anyway, unless he was ridiculously popular. But I have scored a number of nice goals with him, as you saw there, that was just one of them. And he can dribble, he can finesse the ball, and he's very good at power shots, but then again, I think a lot of players in this game seem to be very good at power shots, and in general, they're quite easy to pull off, at least in Ultimate Team, and also in the skill games I've noticed. But I haven't really played that much head-to-head -head season or any other game modes, so to be honest I can't really comment on those. But we do finish up the game with another goal, and it does end up 8-0 to me. And I get a message from this guy saying that FIFA is unplayable, and I just tell him that you do actually just need chemistry, and then he sends me something back saying how am I supposed to get chemistry when everyone else's team is much better than mine basically. So after this match we do go out and pick up a Brazilian centre attacking mid from the Serie A, Mike Suel, he was better last year in my opinion, his stats were anyway. He had a lot more pace and he had 5 star skills, but on paper he's still a pretty good looking player. And one of the better Serie A centre attacking mids, and I did want to pick him up just to see how he compared to say last year's version. So we do go into another match with Mike Suel in our team, and we come up against Huns Kleppers. And he's got a pretty decent Liga Portuguesa team with Mangala left centre back, who is, I do believe, still pretty pacey. He was extremely quick last year and rare, but he wasn't too expensive for, well, how good he was. But in the second minute, he does actually manage to get it started. He breaks through my right hand side of the fence, crosses it in, and nods it in. And I have noticed that headers do actually seem to be pretty easy to score in this game. I think it may be because. The crosser tends to put it in a better area than they did last year, and I think that may have something to do with it because it allows the player running into the cross to get a lot more speed on the header, and it makes them much more likely to score. But we do manage to hit back here in the 12th minute with Emmanuel and finesses around the goalkeeper on his preferred left foot, and again another good finesse shot as I was mentioning earlier. And then a bit later on, after a bit of passing in front of their back line, we do manage to slip it through to Muriel who does put the ball away, and I do do the old teabag celebration mainly because he did it to me first. Yeah, I roll like that, whatever bro. And I'm actually quite enjoying the 4 5 one I do like it a lot more than I did last year. If you play balanced or offensive mentality, then it does actually play quite like a 4 0 6 or sometimes a 4 one 5 formation, because it does seem like the cams, the right mid, the left mid, and even sometimes the center or mid are all forward as well as the striker, obviously. Which does make it pretty easy to score goals as they're pretty well spread out across the pitch. Which means that it's pretty easy to exploit the gaps in the opposition when you find them because your players have plenty of space to operate because they're not too close to each other. But having such an offensive minded formation does make it quite hard to defend, especially when you come against experienced or particularly good players who know how to exploit those gaps. But anyway. We do finish up the match here, it does end 4-1 to me. We get 558 coins from that, we move on and it does actually mean that we win the title. So we're now in Division 4, just another 3 divisions to go through before we get to Division 1. And I do believe we picked up 2000 coins for winning that league, so nothing to complain about there. Not, not exactly a huge total, but like I say, nothing to complain about. After this we do go out to Serie A, look for a centre back and pick up this guy, Andrioli, for 600 coins, not a bad deal. 
and this is mainly for fitness purposes and in case of injuries. I wouldn't say he's as good as the other two center backs that I already have in my team, but he's not too far away to be honest, and I don't think it'll make a huge difference when I have to sub him in for one of them for any unforeseen circumstances. So we do go search for the next match and we come against CM United, who has a pretty decent league to Brazil team mostly. He's got a few non league to Brazil players in there, but they're all Brazilian. He's got Fabio from QPR, Zalau, who I thought was a really good silver last year, Diego Alves, I believe, in goals, and Williams at left center defensive mid. And then he's also got Danilo at right back and one player I don't actually recognize at right center back from Hanover 96. But in terms of Brazilian teams in general, it's actually been pretty good so far. I haven't come up against too many extremely sweaty teams, although that is probably because most of the players haven't played for long enough to buy really quick players because I suppose they're still quite expensive. But we do get it started in the 15th minute with Pepe. And actually at this point, my opponent does decide that he has had enough. You can see the little connection bar in the bottom left corner and connection has been lost. We do get 321 coins, which is not exactly a lot. Normally 5-600 is the average, but it does give us a win. And you will see I do have a loss on my record for this season, but that was my brother. I can assure you that. So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I will try my hardest to bring out another one later on today. And if you did enjoy, be sure to leave the video a like. And apart from that, I'll talk to you all next time.